Wednesday, July 27, 2022. T minus two, two days away from 2022 USA Yoga National Championship. So I'm going to try to see what I can do in the championship this year. Last year I was number four. This year, a lot of challenging competitors. There are 19 contestants in the field in the senior women's category. It's, it's one of the largest fields they've had in a while. I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to see if my yoga can, can stand up against all of their yoga. And it's not about competition. Really. It's really about showing your best, putting your best effort out. And just trying to show the world what you can do. So I hope I can show the world what I can do. I've certainly practiced a lot. It's been like really hard the past number of months working so hard to build myself up to this point. So we'll see what happens.
We're here in Ames, Iowa for the State Games of America Yoga Championship, National Yoga Championship for USA Yoga. And I'm about to enter our suite. Let's see if this works. Are you this? Yes! Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Mmm, big desk. It's much darker and a little murkier than the previous place we stayed at in Louisville. But it's more spacious, that's for sure. So, what do we have here? This is the so-called kitchenette area. Look at this. Fridge! Cool. Microwave. Cool. Coffee maker. Do I drink coffee? Bathroom. Pretty cool. Or small bathroom. in there. Yeah, standard. <laughs> what do we have here? Big closet space with nothing. <laughs> what do we have here? Here's an island. And yeah, cool. What do we have here? What viewers do we have here? It's not as cool as having the partial river lake view, huh? And we have a view of the highway with all of the other little hotels and motels along this strip. Huh. I wonder how much that econo lot would have So, <laughs> but we're here in Ames, Iowa, and it's uh, the day before the championship. So I'm going to start a little bit of practicing and just try to strengthen my muscles and ligaments and such. And get ready for tomorrow's semifinals. Pretty cool that we have this spacious place. All that you know, all that you taught me, is here in this fractured body. All that I am is because of you, my teachers, my friends. All that I do, I do to honor those of you who spent the time to fix me, to make me better to make me the best version of me. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Noel. Thank you, Joel. I thank you all and all that you've done for me. I am not afraid to show my best in front of others. I am not afraid to inspire. here at the fabulous State Games of America at the Lead Recreation Center where the semifinals of the yoga competition will be held. So here on the campus of Iowa State, <laughs> this is where all the magic is going to happen for the next few days.
Okay, I'm going up next. Wish me luck. semifinals that we saw today. And now the finals are going to happen on Sunday. And we're picking 10 out of 19 people to do that. It's a very, very stiff kind of competition this year. Because from what I saw, all 19 that were there were there to win. So this is going to be a very, very challenging competition to try to get into the finals. And hopefully I'll make it. Hopefully, hopefully if the higher powers say so, and bless me, I'll go on to the next round. So, I ended up 6th place in, um, in the semifinals, which is pretty darn good because all 19 competitors were really, really strong. And, yeah, I, after watching the first two competitors, I was like, oh my god, if they're all going to be that good, how am I going to stand a chance? Like, I know I'm pretty good, but... These people all came to win. They all put their best foot forward, and they all came to win. They wanted to show their stuff, their best stuff, their best yoga. And so I said to myself, I calmed myself down, and I just got to a point where I was like, you know what? You have to do what you can do. You have to show your best yoga, because you worked so hard for this. Everyone built themselves up to such strong potential. There's no excuse anymore. Like last year, there were some competitors that 
weren't there that are there that are here this year and these are the people that were like so good right before the pandemic now they're back and like i said before in my previous videos last year a medal isn't worth anything unless it's earned so i don't want a medal just for the sake of getting a medal i'm gonna try my hardest i don't think i'm going to get a medal this year and that's okay because I'm gonna try my hardest and see how far I can go. Sixth place, I felt like I basically walked out of there by the skin of my teeth, by the seat of my pants, and I'm happy about that. And I feel really bad for, for the people who didn't make it because I knew a lot of them and they, were, they are very strong competitors. It was anybody's game because from the lowest score to the highest score, it, there wasn't that much of a difference in points. And the top spots, you can imagine, everyone's score was, the difference was just by a few points. So it's very, very competitive this year. You have the likes of Yoko Jackson, you have B re-entering the contest, Oh, there are so many good competitors. And then, oh yeah, Dominique Well, she just like rose very, very quickly up the ranks. She was just like so phenomenal at this, at this championship. So phenomenal. All of the ladies were phenomenal. So, it's going to be tough this year. We're going to try. See if we can do it. See if we can do it.